I'm not an alcoholic. The court should understand that, right? Attorney Aaron Bortel explains that. The courts are not the ones that you're worried about. It's the district attorney's office. It's the Department of Motor Vehicle. So whether you're an alcoholic or not has nothing to do with how your case is going to go, unless it's a multiple DUI where we get you into a residential treatment program or attending AA meetings to try and minimize the damage. If you're at or over 0 0.08, it's kind of black and white. They're going to charge you with the DUI. We may win the case. We may get charges reduced. How it comes out, it doesn't have a lot to do with your drinking habits. It has a lot more to do with what happened in the case with the driving, with the field sobriety test, with the blood alcohol level. So alcoholism doesn't necessarily help or hurt on a first DUI. The treatment you get for it can help minimize the damage in some cases, but it's not going to necessarily affect if you're charged with the DUI or not. And the court is not necessarily going to have a whole lot to do with what happened in your cases. In most counties, what happens is your attorney is dealing with a prosecutor, district attorney, or city attorney who they will try and convince to dismiss the case or try and negotiate a lesser charge or a lesser sentence or go up against in a trial. The only time that your drinking habits might come into play with the court would be for sentencing purposes. If this was a case that had an extremely high blood alcohol level, say you're three or four times the legal limit, the courts could be thinking you're an alcoholic. And if it's something where they have the say on whether you do jail time or on a multiple offense, or do a program, get in a program. It's something that by doing meetings, getting into a program yourself would have some discretion. But unfortunately, the fact that you're not an alcoholic is not going to help you in a standard first DUI case. On that note, having a perfect driving record, never being in trouble before, or doing a lot of volunteer work, sometimes we can find places where that helps. But what you've got to understand is most people who are arrested for a first-time DUI have perfect driving records, have a good job, have a family, and do voluntary work. So when we're trying to explain that to someone to go easier on you, they heard it before. I still like to try and personalize my client in every case possible because it can be helpful. For a free case evaluation, contact attorney Aaron Bortel in San Francisco, California at 415-523. 7878 or visit his website at www.bortelduidefense.com.